Hi, today I'd like to show you how to segment an orange or any other kind of citrus. I briefly showed this in a previous video on how to use your knife. I just want to show you in a little bit more detail how to segment your oranges. Now first of all, you want to have the um, size appropriate knife. So obviously I'm not going to use my chef knife for this. I'm going to use a paring knife. Now to start this, I'm going to sharpen it. I had a video yesterday on how to sharpen your knives. I'm going to bring this right to the edge of the cutting board and I'm going to go five or six times down the coarse side of the uh, sharpening rods. So I'm putting some pressure on my knife and I go over to the fine side. And that's it. This is a little bit fiddly work, so I want my knife to be nice, nice and sharp. sharp. I wipe it off to get any of the filings off of there. I'm using blood oranges today. These are grown in Spain and some other European countries. I'm pretty sure that they grow these in the States now too. Um, to start this, we need the cutting board, need a bowl, and the knife. So I'm gonna cut the ends off of this for stability. Straight down. And I'm gonna tr trim away the skin and the pith. The pith is the white part. I don't want to take too much of the uh, actual flesh off. I can come back a second time and clean, clean this up and get the pith off after. I just want to run my knife around the inside of the skin, being careful not to take away too much of the flesh away. Blood oranges are characteristic by the crimson of the flesh, and they also have uh, red um, on the skins as well. It's a very seasonal kind of fruit. See, I'm just going around. And I'm using a short sawing motion with my knife. My knife is actually doing most of the work here. I don't want to put too much pressure on it because then it's going to collapse this orange. So now I can go back and just take the rest of the pith off. With some practice, um, it becomes very easy. So that looks pretty good. Oh, there's a little bit more here. This pith is quite um, bitter to eat, so you don't want to have a lot of that on your orange. So what I'm left with is a peeled orange, and you can see that there are different segments in here. What I want to do now is slide my knife down the inside of one of the segments. The first uh, segment is always a little bit difficult to uh, take out, and I'm going to flip my knife up, and you can see I've got the other side of the segment here. I'm going to go down, Saw my knife back and forth very gently. I'm gonna hold on to that segment, okay? And then flip my knife. And I have the other segment here. Go down on the inside and flip my knife up. There we go. Can you see what I'm doing here? I hope, you can, I hope it's clear for you. Sometimes if you get a pit, it makes it very difficult to go through, so you have to remove the pit before you continue. Oops, and which is what I have right here. Okay, there we go. This is starting to fall apart on me, which isn't what I had expected, but it is what it is. Getting the hang of it? So you put your knife down, use a scooping motion, flip it up, and there you have it. Squeeze the juices in here, and that's it. This is zero points. I can make a nice spinach salad or a nice citrus salad, any kind of a fruit salad with this. Um, I hope that you'll give this a try. Like I said, with practice, it becomes a lot easier. My name is Jill. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.